Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. The brother touched uh, Christmas, right? Christmas is not a, a feast day that we should be keeping. Sure. Go to Leviticus 23. Yeah. Um, so Christmas, you keep that? You celebrate it. Okay, so now Christmas, if you read the book of Jeremiah, which one? Ten. Ten. It describes Christmas, brother, to a T. It describes how men cut a tree and decorate it. But God says that's a, that's a, a holiday that we're not supposed to keep. That's a tradition. But the Passover, watch what the what the Lord says about the actual feast we are supposed to keep. Watch, read it. Passover. Uh, Leviticus 23 and what? Is it one? Book of Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 4. Uh -huh. These are the feasts of the Lord, uh -huh. even holy convocation, uh -huh. which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. So God said these are the Lord's days, the feast days, you know, our celebration days. Not the celebrations that we have on the on the calendar of this world right. but the lord gave us our feast days brother read on in the 14th day of the first month so god said on the 14th day of the first month read on at even is the lord's passover see that god said that the first day of the month today brother we celebrate easter right so guess what easter is actually supposed to be a representation of the passover right. but remember Easter is in what March, April, correct? Which is what the third, fourth month, uh, month of the year. Right. But here God says it's what month? In the fourteenth day of the first month. You see, God said that Passover actually lands on the first day of, of the first month of the year. That's right. So March this year, the Passover lands on on March about twenty third, towards the end of March. So what that's telling us is the beginning of the year. So that actually helps us understand also that the year begins around March, according to this calendar. You see that? But the world teaches us that the new year starts during, uh, during uh, what is it? During winter. But winter, brother, everything is still dead. Things ain't living. But during spring, what happens during spring? Things come new. Right. The flowers start to bloom. So God said the Passover lands on the first day of the month. And remember, at the beginning, he said his word. Read verse 4 again. Verse 4. These are the feasts of the Lord, uh -huh. even holy convocation. So, uh -huh. God said these are the feasts of the Lord. A holy convocation, brother, is a gathering. God said you must gather with brothers and sisters. Like-minded right. right. that know what they're doing in the day in the in Lord's day. Right. So now let's finish up the Passover. Read on. Which ye shall proclaim in their seasons, uh -huh. in the fourteenth day of the first month. Uh -huh. At even uh -huh. is the Lord's Passover, uh -huh. Read on. and on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread. So now on the fifteenth day starts the feast of unleavened bread. This is where you gotta go into history. Go to Leviticus twenty-three and four, right quick. When you go into history, Leviticus, no, Exodus, Exodus 23. Uh, when you go, God said on the 15th day is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. When you go into the book of Exodus, where we're going right now, you read that when the children of Israel, when Moses brought them out of Egypt, they left in haste, meaning they left everything quick, brother. And guess what? They had unleavened bread. Unleavened bread is... Uh, Bread uses a special ingredient. It has baking soda, it has yeast, and other ingredients that make leaven, yes, that make the bread expand, right? 
It makes it fluffy. Right here, God says, because the children of Israel left in haste, they didn't have time to do all that. So they left with the bread without that leaven in it. Right. So it actually became a form of tradition for us to eat and keep the day of unleavened bread, That's which right. is the Passover. Right. Watch this. Read it. This is the book of Levit uh, Exodus, chapter 23, and verse 15. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days, uh -huh. as I commanded thee. You see, God said you shall keep the, the feast of unleavened bread. This is a further explanation of an actual holiday, which is a holy day of the Lord that we must keep. Right. And this is a celebration, brother, that we keep for seven days. Seven days. Right. When you look at Christmas, how long is Christmas? One day. Right. One day. When you look at the New Year's, how many? How long is that? One day. Right. There are many celebrations in the Bible that God gave us a full week to enjoy. Right. A full week, seven, eight days. Right. And this is one of them. The Passover. Feast of unleavened bread. Let's watch. Read on. In the time appointed of the month of bib. You see, listen, remember, hold that. Go back to Leviticus 23. I want to show, I want to prove something, brother. Something about the, the calendar and, and, and the dates that we're in right now. Go back to that. Read it again. Bring it up. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and verse 4. Uh -huh. These are the feasts of the Lord, uh -huh. even holy convocation, which ye shall proclaim. In their seasons, uh -huh. in the 14th day of the first month. God said you need to proclaim them. That means that when we, when, when that holiday, that specific holiday is around, we're supposed to proclaim it. We, we got to go out and remind our people, hey, it's the Passover. That's right. Get ready for it. Right. It's about to be the Sabbath day. Right. Get ready for it. Right. The new moon is coming, right. which is the full moon is a new moon. Right. God said we're supposed to let our people know. Just like Halloween in this world, how many months advance are they are are they are they announcing it? Like, yes, it's 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 October. And they're already selling, and they're already announcing Christmas. Right. What kind of stuff is that? Yeah, but God yeah. said, for God's holy days, we're actually supposed to do that. Right. Right. Watch, read on. Which ye shall proclaim in their seasons, uh -huh. in the fourteenth day of the first month, uh -huh. at even is the Lord's Passover, uh -huh. and on the fifteenth day. Of so God said, on the fourteenth day is the first month. On the first month, right? Now, what does the Lord call the first month of the year? Go back to Exodus. What do we call the first month of the year here in America? January. You know where that comes from? Huh? Janice. It was a goddess, just like February, March. All these names, all these names come from Greekish and even further back goddesses that we gave them the names for the months. But God says the, the first month, name of the month is what? Read that again. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Read out. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Uh -huh. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days, uh -huh. as I commanded thee, uh -huh. in the time appointed of the month of Abib. Uh -huh. You see that? God said on the time appointed, he calls the first month of the year Abib. That's right. Abib, think about that, brother. Now we could take, we could take hold to even the real names of the month that is great brother because we hold on to fake identities just like fake traditions christmas just like fake names to everything everything the names the time the bible says that they've changed even the time bro but guess what god has given us the true revelations of what it is all we got to do is read so let's go and read on for in it thou camest out from Egypt. So, brother, remember, today when we celebrate the Passover, God is actually doing it so we remember when we came out of Egypt. Because we are the type of people that we forget the great works that the Lord has done for us. We forget that. We're so easily distracted. But the traditions of Passover... New moons and all that, a living bread is for us to remember the greatness that God has done for us. Right. Remember, when we came out of Egypt, what did God do to the other nations, to the Egyptians? Bring it out. Bring it out. 
He killed them, bro. He killed them. Remember, first he brought plagues. You know what he called America? The Bible calls America, God calls America, spiritual Egypt and Sodom. Great Babylon. But you know why? Because just like in Egypt, right, right before the Passover, we were slaves for 400 years and God delivered us. God said, here is the same thing. God is going to deliver us from this Egypt, this captivity that we're in. And you got to think about that. It's heavy. Because just now, are we now remembering to celebrate God's real pe feast days? You see that? Watch. Read, it, read that part again. For in it thou camest out from Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. You see that? And none shall go to Exodus 12 and 15. This is the celebrations of the Lord. We, you, brother, you've got a great job ahead of you. And I don't think our brothers and sisters really don't understand. We got a great job ahead of us. You, brother, you say you got a son. You got a young king in your house. Right. There's two ways he could go. There's only two ways. Right. The path of the Lord, righteousness, rulership, or condemnation and death forever. Right. That's it. Your lineage is death. No name for you. You see that? So you got a great job ahead of you, but you got to start doing what you, what God has commanded to, commanded you to do, which the brother brought out. That's Keep the commandments of right, the Lord. Right, right, Watch this. Read, read from the beginning. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 12 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And the Lord spake unto yeah. Moses and Aaron yeah. in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. You see, God said this month? When, we, when, when Moses was already out with the children of Israel in the wilderness, God said, this is when the, your years are going to begin. Because remember, brother, remember this. When we was in slavery in Egypt for over 400 years, we, we have forgotten every which way of our tradition. Every way. So God said, you know what? We're going to start fresh. Today is going to be the beginning of your year. Because when we came out of Egypt, we still was holding on to the traditions of the Egyptians. Right. Just like today, you got all our people keeping and holding on to the, the, to the traditions of America. That's why when Christ comes back, he splits the sky, he's going to put everything back in its proper place. So watch, read on. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. Read verse 10. Verse 10. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. Read verse 8. Verse 8. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. Go verse 5. On the Passover, brother, we are commanded to eat lamb. Right. Lamb. Do you eat lamb? Yes. Lamb chops. Well, lamb is, is part of our tradition on Passover, just like on Thanksgiving. You know, Thanksgiving, you eat the turkey. Thanksgiving is a foolish, foolish tradition of the world. Right. We right. are not supposed to be celebrating that, brother. Right. You agree with that? Great. Because remember, during Thanksgiving, they celebrated and were keeping the remembrance of really the massacre of the Native Indians. Right. The Native Indians, right? So now, but just like in this world, every tradition has its little perks that go with it, just like the turkey with Thanksgiving. Right here in the Passover, lamb goes with the Passover. Yes, we are right. supposed to eat lamb during the Passover. Watch, right. read on. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 12 and verse 5. Your lamb shall be without blemish. You see, God said your lamb shall be without blemish. Read on. A male of the first year. Uh -huh. Ye shall take it out from the sheep uh -huh. or from the goats. Read. And ye shall keep it up until the 14th day. When is the 14th day? What happened? Remember, we read earlier. What's the 14th day of the first month of being? The Passover. Oh, so God said this lamb on the Passover. Read on. Of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Uh -huh. We kill it. And, and give me that in the New Testament. Says twice it's our and they shall take of the... Remember, what did it say? We'll take this lamb and we'll kill it. Right? Read on. We sacrifice the lamb. Read on. Verse 7. And they shall take of the blood 
and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. Right before, right before we came out of Egypt, Moses, God told Moses for us to kill a lamb, which was a sacrifice, and that blood, that blood we're supposed to put it around the post of our house right. because that night the the angel of the lord came and killed all and was killing the children of the egyptians right. so god said when that when that angel of death comes through the city of egypt guess up. what he wasn't going to kill any of the israelites who had that lamb that was sacrificed on the post that's right, right. and i want you to remember that part because when we come to Christ in the New Testament, it's very heavy. It's he very heavy, and it has a correlation with what happened in the Passover. Watch, read on. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 5 and verse 7. Read out. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. God said that we, brother, we must purge out the old leaven, meaning our sins, our old sins, those things that keep us from actually growing like you, brother. When I was speaking to you, you said you've been watching us, right? But guess what? There's something still keeping you from moving forward, right. taking that next step that you must, you must, no option, you must take. That's right. That's God right. said you got to examine, look at yourself, really see the things that is holding you back, right. that lump, that leaven, and guess what? Let it go. So guess what? It is spiritual. It is spiritual and has a deeper understanding for us to celebrate this Passover. That's right. Watch, read on. As ye are unleavened, for even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Wait a minute. No, go back to where you was at. I didn't want that one yet. I didn't want that one yet. You hold it and go back to Exodus, brother. Finish up. Continue where you was at on Exodus. Ex this is the book of Exodus. Chapter 12 and verse 8. Uh -huh. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast it with fire and unleavened bread. Remember, we're reading on how we keep the Passover. Right. Read on. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Read up, 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 up read, start again where you start where you started. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. You see that, brother? So we're eating, you must eat lamb on the Passover. Right. What day does the Passover land? Is it the 23rd? So this 23rd, brother, is the Passover of the Lord, uh, which is about a week and a half from now. I want you to really go back and examine that, brother, because you could actually start making that step on keeping the feasts of the Lord. Right. You could keep it at your house. Start there with your children. Then you could start with us. Start congregating. And later on, you're going to be able to partake on all these other feast days. Watch. Read on. Roast with fire. And unleavened bread. And unleavened bread. So guess what? During these seven days of the month, of the of the month of Abib, of the celebration of the Passover, you cannot have any ingredient in your house that has leaven in it. Right, right. So, for example, uh, I said it earlier, yeast is leaven, um, baking soda has leaven, and there's many other little ingredients that if you look, that if you look in the in, in, in the ingredients on, on your merchandise, you'll see that it's unclean. You're not supposed to have them in your house. Right, right. At all. You you gotta actually do a spring cleaning. Right. That's actually where the spring cleaning Bring comes from. Right, right, because during up. during the Passover, we knew we had to get ready Jeez. because we can't we couldn't have leaven ingredients in the house. Right. Right. So the, the spring cleaning. We came up with it. The Lord gave it to us as part of our of a perk. It's a perk that's part of our tradition. You see that, brother? These are things that we have little to no understanding of. Watch, read on. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast it with fire. His head with his legs. You see, God is giving you the way to do it. You're not supposed to boil it, yeah. right? You're not supposed to put seasons on it. Jeez. None of that. You're supposed to just put it over the, uh, the, 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 the what is it? The, the, the fire, the roast it. You got to roast it in the, in the firewood, and that's how you cook it. You can't do it no other way. Right. And you got to eat it with bitter herbs. Uh. You can't get some salsa, throw some salsa. You can't do that. You cannot grab tortillas, eat it with your... No, you got to eat it with bitter or right. unleavened bread right. and roast it in the fire. Read on. And with the perfumes, 
thereof, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, uh -huh. and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire, uh -huh. and thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded. What verse is this? Verse 11. Your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, uh -huh. and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. It is the Lord's what? It is the Lord's Passover. It is the Lord's Passover. Now check this out. It's called the Passover. This is a little bit deep, brother. The Passover, because it says it's the Lord's Passover. Why? Remember, the, the, the history goes that the angel of the Lord came through the whole city of Egypt and kill, was killing the Egyptians, right? Right. Now watch that. It said it's the Lord's Passover, right? Now go to 1 Corinthians. That's where you was at? Now watch this. It said it's the Lord's Passover. Watch this. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 5 and verse 7. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened, for even Christ our Passover. Christ what? Christ our Passover. Now listen to that, brother. It said that Christ is our Passover, right? Hey. And remember earlier in Exodus, we read that the angel of the Lord, which is the Passover, right? So the angel of the Lord that was killing the, the Egyptians, who was it? Read it again. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened, for even Christ our Passover. The Bible says Christ is our Passover. The angel of the Lord that came and killed the Egyptians, our enemies, was Christ. That's, That's, right. Right. That's why, brother, our people don't understand that the New Testament is just a repeating and a clarification of what happened in the Old Testament. That's right. And Christ just came back, right? Because Christ was there from the beginning. Right. Christ just came back to unify, reunify the nation of Israel. Right. Because the nation of Israel, we have been broken off. Right. The blacks and Hispanics, we broke off and split into di diff two different uh Factions, right. which out. is the northern and the southern kingdom. Right. All Christ did was to bring us back together, right. just like he did, and he delivered us out of the hands of the Egyptians. That's right. All right, that's it, though, brother. All right, brother, we appreciate your time. Take that time, that PTO, brother. We open up the doors at 12.30, brother. 12.30 uh, p.m. in the afternoon every Saturday. I appreciate all y'all. All right, brother. All right, Matthew 26. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.